Hello everyone! Welcome back here to one more video in the Super Academico and Tapaulio Azul channels. And today I'm going to do a fast video, actually, um, less than five minutes, I think, because I I just want to comment about one thing that I noticed uh, crossing one reading that I, I'm doing of the the book from Marshall Burma uh, by Nor Marshall Burma. Uh, I think that's solid goes into air I, I don't know the, the title in English but it's a famous book about uh, how modernity creates this environment uh, which uh, everything seems to, to fade away very fast everything that seems so solid it's so concrete becomes and uh, turns into air into nothing very very quickly so this modernity uh, this modern times which he speaks of and uh, he develops he develops he develops his arguments by analyzing some writings from authors like uh, uh good uh, the, the the german writer poetry poet poetry no. poets poet german poet uh, that wrote the the the, the faust uh, and Baudelaire, uh, also Karl Marx, and uh, I am in a chapter where, when, which I am in a chapter uh, where he analyzed the, the the rule of the city of Saint Petersburg uh, in Russia, uh, uh, the city that was called Petrograd for some time during the Second War and became became back to St. Petersburg after the end of Soviet Union and he analyzed the city a city that was built uh, it was built by by uh, Peter the Great uh, Pedro o Grande the the Tsar the Russian Tsar that he put his name in the city uh, Peters uh, Petersburg St. Petersburg Peter's Petersburg city yeah, place something like that and while you are writing and um, while I was reading I was reading this this chapter about uh, St. Petersburg I I noticed uh, that some part of the writing of uh, he, he mentions uh, an author that's the name is Pushkin he mentions an author called Pushkin, a Russian author that writes a, a short tale called uh, the Bronze, the Bronze Knights, the Bronze Knights, which is a reference to the the statue of Peter the Great that lies in some place in Saint Petersburg, which is a uh, an homage of his great effort to build a city a whole city a whole new city from ground zero from scratch and especially uh, over the a swamp so the whole city was built over uh, a swamp like uh, in the same ways that venice and amsterdam uh, cities Western cities in your, uh, Western Europe, Europe, where the the place were, uh, the place the place were built over water, and uh, tragically, uh, uh, the the author says that uh, ever one hundred years, there is a great a great flood in in Saint Petersburg, where the whole city is flooded except the palace the palace where the the Tsar used to live was to dwell and finally and tragically too uh the 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 the, the last one the last flood was in in uh, night 1928 so the next flood is approaching especially where when we are facing this this climate change that 
can provoke the can promote this this natural events but the the the, the story uh, that i noticed uh, something different was this this short tale about uh, the the uh, called the bronze knights written by pishkin in this uh, in this tale uh, there is the uh, a common man uh, a public employee some kind uh, that he he just want to live his life and and uh, marry the the woman he loves and when the flood come comes comes when the flood comes uh she she get she she was she dies she dies she dies in the flood the, uh, she, her body disappears and months later reappear in the shore and the 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 night uh, the, no sorry the the public employee he becomes like crazy or something like that very very angry and he manages to defies the statue the bronze statue of peter and he sees in his mind i think uh, that's where i understood the the knight defying him back uh, and like not chasing but the view of the statues all the cha all is chasing him, and he promises to get back to get even and uh, to, to revenge the death of his loved one and th that's that's uh, that's basically the story that uh, is there's not a story of heroism there's a story of uh, revenge but uh, not accomplished revenge is a different way of approaching a story the russian literature russian literature has this kind of a thing that in the side of the world we don't expect things like that that's why in when hollywood translates russian literature they change some things well speaking of hollywood i noticed reading that today that uh the movie uh the fisher king uh, uh directed by uh directed by uh, uh terry gillian terry gillian a former member of the monty python group and this this it is movie eh? a movie with robbie williams uh, uh and jeff bridges jeff bridges eh? in this movie the 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 character of uh jeff bridges seems to be the main character of the the the, f the film being uh like a radio show man that when he spoke something in some time of his life he provoke uh, uh, someone to do a, a, a slaughter uh, a killing in, in a bar in a bar in the, the center of new york killing a lot of upies uh, a lot of middle class workers that were there hanging out he just shot them all and killed a lot of people and he has this breakdown lose his job and then the time after he meets a, a homeless guy uh, that was played by by Robbie Williams and he dresses like a knight and he, 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 he seems to believe that he's in some kind of a medieval quest to, to find the Holy Grail or something like that something like that. about the, 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 the night tales of the Middle Ages and uh he tries uh to to help this guy just because he discovers that this guy was in the bar that uh that uh, where happened the, the shooting in the beginning of the movie and his wife was killed by the the, the murder and when he finds this uh, he tries to help the 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 Robin Williams character to get back together and then to live a normal life so but uh, in a turn of events uh, the the character of Robin Williams actually is the, the 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 central character of the story because he sees over the night chasing him a, a knight 
a firing knight, a knight with fire around him, and he he's terrified with this vision of the knights. So I I, I watched this this movie a uh, long time ago, uh, a couple of times, and it's very very disturbing this kind of image that's a, a crazy person that sees a knight chasing him and he lost his loved one and he's trying to recover love and there is this this kind of a, uh, a superstar of the media that provokes the death of his loved ones and in, in a way uh, he's trying to, to revenge his loved ones by having this great threat this is the night but actually he was just crazy and uh, seeing illusions and and then I, when i read the the, uh, the the chapter about st petersburg from the book of uh, marshall berman and and I, he speaks about this pishkin short tale about this bronze night i said i, I said that's that's where they, the idea came from because there is the same pattern there is the tragedy of the loss of the, the common person and there is the the the, the superstar that would be would be like the the, the emperor the Caesar, and uh, the the crazy man is seeing the the knights attacking him in some way of course the the short story by the the russian writer the pishkin is more subtle and it doesn't resolve in the way that we expect because there is no revenge he wants revenge he promised revenge like uh, 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 Marshall Bremen says in the way that seems that the revenge would be the the, the Soviet Revolution later on in the Russia uh, uh, but uh, it's, it's open to interpretation and the movie of course the movie has to be more 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 uh, with more action and uh, with the the knight chasing him and he is diagnosed as a crazy person that had his loss and has to recover but uh, I, I I thought it was interesting to share this this kind of a uh, this uh, uh, origin where the idea probably came from I think Terry Gillian, that's a brilliant director, a brilliant band, very intelligent man. Uh, the Monty Python group is every, everybody is very, very uh, cult people, especially uh, 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 John Cleese. John Cleese is very intelligent. They they probably came with this from this story and transform into this piece it's a nice piece so uh, i uh, i love to share uh, that with you i hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe to both channels i forgot to ask in the beginning don't forget to subscribe to both channels to give us the like for the videos all videos uh, you take a look and other videos from our channels and share subscribe and comments please okay thanks bye bye